All right, so without wasting any more time, let's go right into it. And the clear winner in the materials category is definitely reflections or everything that can reflect. You can see this the best if you go into the creative galleries and then look for the cube gallery and take out the mirrored cube. And you can see how good the reflection is and how good it's actually reflecting the, the image that is shown to the reflection. Um, you can see on the one side, uh, the RTX, it is a clear one by one image. Uh, it is exact copy of what is you know in front of the uh, mirror. But on the other hand, you have the normal epic settings without ray tracing. And you can see it's a very blurry image, a very like uh, even noisy image, you can say. And it's not even the real reflection. It is some kind of image that is put into the reflection bubble. Um, it's obviously a technique that is used in like not only Fortnite, also, one big winner is Shadows. Uh, shadows used to look a little bit more like noisy and just in general, they didn't have too much detail on small pieces. Uh, but now, like even the small stones have very amazing shadow details, uh, which just looks sick. And also the atmosphere all around looks very nice with RTX on. But obviously everything shiny comes with a big price and that is your FPS. They will tank to maximum if you just turn on everything to max, especially on my graphic card, which is the lower end version of basically any RTX graphic card. On a flat creative island, I got 40 FPS, which I usually on Epic settings even get easily above 160 FPS. So it is a very big you know, tank in your FPS, but if you want to make just trailers or if you just want to make something where the map looks amazing, then FPS shouldn't be a big problem. But that being said, this was all recorded on the max settings possible uh, without putting on any performance mode whatsoever. So uh, you should keep that in mind. And we'll come to that in a second as well. So the main difference between the materials is that reflections are super amazing. Uh, the all around atmosphere looks very nice and very uh, natural and shadows look super detailed. Moving on to the FPS part, um, as already said, RTX tanks your FPS to a minimum, but that is obviously expected. Um, so NVIDIA and Fortnite added a few options to counteract that, and that is the DLSS mode. Um, it is an amazing mode, and it actually doubles your FPS back to something like 60 again. So for example, if you get like 30 FPS in-game and then you add on the performance mode, which really doesn't get too much out of the way of you know scaling down stuff, um, it actually doubles your FPS back to 60. I know that it's still like not competitive level FPS that you want here, but it is still a very big improvement. And you have to keep in mind that this is the lowest end RTX graphic card you can buy. So if you have something from the new generation of uh, RTX cards, the 30 series, um, you could possibly even get up to 120 FPS if you turn on the performance mode. Um, there are other modes like the balance mode and uh, the, um, I think, quality mode. Uh, but they don't push up your FPS too much. And they also don't give really too much of a quality difference. So I think the performance mode is one of the best modes that you can put in. It still gives the reflections and it still gives the, the nice feeling of the RTX, but it basically doubles your FPS. So I think if you're going to play with RTX on, I would highly recommend just turning on everything to max settings and then turn on the performance mode in the DLSS setting. And uh, that is a quick review of the new RTX uh, graphics in Fortnite. I know they're not super like amazing, like it is a completely new game, but it still adds a little detail that some people want and uh, looks, especially on map trailers and on creative stuff, very nice and could, could you know, kind of be an, a thing to where you say, okay, I want to buy an RTX card because this looks amazing. So um, let me know what you think about the RTX uh, in Fortnite thing and um, I will see you guys back in my next video. Bye.